Heritage Project is sponsored by the Guam Humanities Council and is part of the Itano Zanitasi Land and Sea Ecological Literacy on the U.S. Pacific Island of Guam. It's a multifaceted project that seeks to inform and inspire island residents to engage with values, ideas, and actions that are important to a sustainable future for our island. Council Executive Director Dr. Kimberly Killing. Eat Your Heritage is a week-long tour that is launching a larger project the council has just embarked on um, that's called Itano Zanitasi, Land and Sea, Ecological Literacy on the U.S. Island of Guam. So this is a long-term project and it deals with looking at the relationship between food, health, culture, and the environment in order to better grow democracy in Guam. So Eat Your Heritage um, will be this week uh, coming up from September 26th through October 1st and will involve uh, two uh, Native American chefs who are visiting. Chef Lois Ellen Frank and Chef Walter Whitewater are Native American chefs that were brought to Guam as part of the project. The two operate Red Mesa, combining Native American culture and cuisine to provide patrons a unique educational and culinary experience. What's really important about the work they do, which is relevant to our project, is that they look at indigenous food practices with Southwest Native Americans and how that those practices and going back to those practices can really help not only preserve the culture but also promote better health. Over the weekend the two chefs along with members from the Guam Humanities Council took part in a test run and preparation for the upcoming gala events. My name is Lois Ellen Frank and I am a guest chef on Guam with the Guam Humanities Council and with me is Chef Walter Whitewater. He's from the Diné Nation. I'm Sephardic and Kiowa on my mom's side. And with us today is a local chef, Carlos. Carlos, will you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Carlos. I'm a native here in Guam. And uh, partaking here with you guys today uh, with this, uh, this beautiful venture here with you guys sharing knowledge. Yeah, so what, what we've actually done, and this is uh, the creative process, is we're taking local foods and we've made it into a plate that we're going to be serving at the Hyatt this coming Saturday mm -hmm. and we have a breadfruit mash, we have a papaya and coconut sauce, we have a salsa with fresh papaya, a little bit of hot chili, this is a local spinach, we have the stems on the top and the leaves on the bottom and this is also served with uh, a deep water fish, onaga, Chef Lois took us through some of the steps in preparing one of the dishes that will be offered. So what we're doing is we're taking local ingredients. This is local spinach, and we're sautéing it, and it's going to be used as a side. Uh, Walter's taking the fish and searing it, and we're going to take the fish, and that's going to be our protein for tonight. Along with the fish, a bread pudding mash that is made with local green onions will also be served. And we made a salsa with local papaya, uh, local chilies and local citrus and that's going to be served on the plate. With the fish and the green onions. Chamorro cuisine has changed throughout the years with convenience and accessibility rather than nutrition and the cultural significance. The Guanya explains the importance of these foods to our region. What you see on the plate that they just cook for us is actually grown here and caught here and cultivated here locally. And what we're trying to do here is actually highlight what is grown here and that you can learn how to value what's around you rather than what you can buy at, at the store. And it's just one way that you can reconnect with, with the land here and the people and the culture. Chef Lois and Chef Walter are extremely excited and hope that many will come out and support not only the project, but the Guam Humanities Council. Chef Lois is a Santa Fe, New Mexico-based chef, author, native foods historian, and photographer who has spent over 18 years documenting foods and life ways of Native American tribes from the Southwest. Her book, Foods of the Southwest Indian Nations, features traditional and contemporary recipes and was the first Native American book to receive the James Beard Award. 
Not only will they be preparing uh, the dish, the main courses on Saturday evening, October 1st, but Lois will also be giving a public lecture on Tuesday, um, September 27th at the government house from 6 to 8, looking at, it, the, it's entitled Seeds of he Health, the Ancestral Diet. So we hope that everyone can be out and come out and join us on Tuesday evening for a free event. The tour will end with an interpretive cooking event marking the council's 20th anniversary on Saturday, October 1st at the Hyatt Regency Guam. The two visiting chefs will team up with award-winning local chefs Joseph Booty of the Hyatt Regency Guam, Paul Kerner from the Guam Community College, Peter Duenas of Mescla Chamorro Fusion, and Joffrey Perez of Pearl Restaurant. The event will be held from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m and tickets cost $150 per person. Proceeds will go to the Guam Humanities Council. You can contact the Guam Humanities Council at 472-4460 or 1 for more information.